Hello everybody and welcome to the Fire Up Your Fat Burn workshop. In this workshop I'm going to show you how to burn body fat throughout your menopausal years without sacrificing, dieting, giving up all the life and all the stuff you've done in the past. Um, if you don't know me, my name's Sean. For almost eight years I've worked with hundreds of women, this gym and another gym and I've helped hundreds of women lose body fat using my nutritional approaches and that's always worked for the longest time but now that I've learned more about menopause in this past year or so doing the certifications that I'm doing I've learned even more about the fundamentals of why this is so important in particularly for women going through menopause which is why I want to share this workshop so before I go into the steps which I've got my notes here I'll be referring to my notes here just so you know um, before I go into the steps that, um, that you need to take each day I want to provide some context and provide some information on why this is so important, the fundamentals, the things you need to know in order to shift from going from, you know, having this feeling that you're, in order to lose fat, I need to diet, I need to give up the foods I love, I'm going to have to sacrifice too much, it's going to be too much effort. When you go through menopausal years, it, it's actually a blessing in disguise because all the things you've done in the past don't work anymore and also you shouldn't be doing them because it's a total change in, in your body's changing the way where you need to match that by doing actually some great things like eating more foods which I'm going to cover in this in this workshop. So what I want to share is a little bit of context and show you why well, why people go wrong and why it's important um, for you to follow these steps based on your physiology. So a female body going through menopause is completely different to a younger woman and is completely different going th uh, to a man. And even a female body and even a, a younger female body is totally different as well. So it's important, I feel, to share this context and give you this information because once you know this, your, your whole world will change around your approach to diet and you won't need to jump to diets to diets and have to jump on these trends to feel as though you have to do that to lose weight because at the end of the day, the, these diets and things and all the other options you've got, they're, they're talking about the benefits as it relates to that product, but there's no real information or education unless you've studied the stuff that I have done on the, the fundamentals, the basics, why it works, why it may not work. You, you, it's, it's important to provide context. It's, it's my understanding, I love education, I love learning, and I believe that once you know this stuff, you, you're set, right? If you know this stuff, once you learn this stuff, it's, I'm gonna go over it really briefly, let's say 20 minutes max. Once you know this stuff, and you implement this stuff, you're in a far better position to succeed long term. But it's important to, number one, take it in, implement it and use it consistently. It's no good just to take it in and not do anything with it. So with that said, there'll be a checklist shared over the weekend where I'll go through like step-by-step -step things to do each and every day. And at the end of the workshop, if you need any more help with this stuff, you need help implementing it, this is what, oops, <laughs> this is what I do. This is, what, this is a condensed version of what I do inside of our eight-week program. It's a nutrition and lifestyle-based program where I help women go from, um, not getting any results to get the results by the end of the weeks. It's nothing really to do with the training. Now, the training is important as part of it, but it's more about the stuff we do outside of the gym. And that's what I'm going to cover here. This is where the magic happens. The results happen outside the gym, not in the gym. Okay, very important distinction, and I'll share why in this workshop. So if you want help with that, if you want more help beyond this workshop, the eight-week program will be right for you. If you already come to this gym, you can do the eight-week program anyway. Like, like I say, it's not about the training in the sessions. That's not the program. The program is what we do outside of the gym. Okay, so I'll share more on that later. Anyway, so fire up the fat burn workshop. Now, here's some context around what goes wrong generally. Now, I've been doing this for nearly eight years, and this is like, what I'm about to share here is one of the most common things that I hear, and it's super common, and I explain why it doesn't work and what you need to do instead. So, I've created what's called a transformation continuum, right? And this is just to help give you some context I'm, I'm just using the whiteboard and pen to make this look professional. I'm understand you're not going to you're not gonna be able to read this. Transformation continuum. I'll just pretend I don't have to spell that. There we go. Then um, you've got, think of a, a line. Think of one extreme to another. So on this side, this is like an athlete. If you think about what an athlete does, think about their behaviours, think about their lifestyle. They live, breathe, eat and shit what they do, right? Their whole world revolves around their health, their body shape, their fitness, everything, right? That's the extreme. Most people aren't athletes, right? That's the extreme, that's the one end. And on the other end, you've got the total polar opposite. You've got someone who does zero zilch, nothing. They just literally do nothing. 
They don't bother about what they read there, they don't care, they what they want, they don't exercise, they don't give a shit. That's the opposite end of the extreme and the opposite end of this continuum. But along the way, let's just say if someone wanted to go from nothing to be an athlete, just for an extreme example, there would have to be a series of changes that would go along the way in order to get there, right? Let's just say tomorrow, if I decide, oh, you know what, I'm going to run the Olympics in however, however many years that is from now, I would have to be, my lifestyle would have to drastically change in order to get, to be able to do that, okay? Most people aren't going to be doing that. That's an extreme example. But what happens is, let's just say, you know, I, I, a lot of people that come to the gym here, they've, they've done nothing for a while, they haven't done anything for years and years and years, and they want help to get going again, right? So before they come to the gym, which is maybe down here, they'll maybe start doing the couch to 5K, they'll maybe start eating a little better, have a little bit less takeaways, they don't have the wine after night. So start making gradual differences and, and, and have a change, right? But people get to a point where they'll just, the kind of stop. They'll get to somewhere, so maybe they'll get to somewhere like over here, which is like they'll start to go to the gym more regularly, and they'll hang around in this area. But the, 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 the main problem, the thing that people go wrong is, they'll go from nothing over to here. And this might be someone, this might be like a, a boot camp, right? Where all of a sudden they go from nothing to, right, oh, I'm dieting, I'm eating chicken and rice every day, I'm having vegetables in my breakfast, I'm having vegetables in my soup, I'm having vegetables in my coffee, I'm going to train six, seven days a week, I'm going to train nine days a week, I'm adding more days I'll be training because I need to lose body fat. So that might, this might be for like a wedding or something, or an event, or they're just fed up, and they, maybe they've done this cycle back, 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 back many, many times. The biggest reason why people fail to carry on is because they're making big leaps to something they can't sustain, don't enjoy, not interested in doing. And, and some people make this jump and they'll go and they'll, they'll hang around there. A lot of people do that. Maybe they've done it before, they stopped for other reasons and they went back to it. But most of the time, I mean, the age old story here in the gym is um, I had a wedding, I had a, I had a, uh, a holiday, I've done this boot camp, I've done this XYZ, I lost loads of weight, it was great, and then I went back to zero again. I just went back to square one. And the reason why that happens is because we're trying to make big leaps from doing zero sets or doing very little to doing things which are unsustainable for most people. They, 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 they see, they, they think they have to sacrifice. They think they have to go over here and do all these extreme things. Remember, moving closer towards an athlete, they live an extreme lifestyle. It's not to say you can't or you shouldn't do live in like this kind of area where you're, you're counting your macros, you're tracking your sleep, you're tracking everything. Like you can do that. It's just most people make two mistakes. They, they jump there, realize that, you know, maybe they'll put it away for 30 days, six weeks, but then they can't sustain it, don't want to sustain it, don't enjoy it, so they go back to square one. And the, the second problem is they're not making the gradual bits of progress. They're not going along this continuum by gradually getting there. They're just making big leaps, realizing they can't make it, and then that's it, they're done. So, what I try to encourage the girls to do in our daily program is we start like, so we get girls who are maybe doing a little bit, they're struggling a little bit, they need some help. Now we take them across this little continuum here where we go, we just make gradual changes, we make gradual progress. Because if you make this big leap here, you're gonna to struggle to sustain these things because you don't need to sacrifice as much as what you think. You can make great progress by working along this continuum nicely. And also, more important, when you're in your menopausal years, it's very difficult to sustain these heavy diet restrictions because your hormones have dipped, so you need to make a different adjustment. You need to like kind of go back to go forward. It's more about the gradual progress, gradually working your body and working in line with what's right for you and your lifestyle. And that's what I'm going to talk about here um, in this workshop. So that's the number one thing. People are making too big of a jump. They can't sustain those habits. And that's a problem. So the 